Hey y'all, I just wanted to go over a few things to uh, show you some of the different uh, mechanical parts that we're going to be using outside of what I previously showed you. And uh, this isn't everything, but it's a general overview of, what, of what's going to go into this machine. Uh, as you already have seen, uh, these are the carriages just, just laying out here and some of the hardware. And you know about this for the front where I'm going to use the clamps so I can cut tenons and dovetails. Uh, but here's some new stuff that you have not seen. This is part of a rack and pin, <coughs> excuse me, rack and pinion setup, and um, these are just some of the parts that go with it. So this is all aluminum, and nice and machine stuff. And some of the parts that go with it can be belt driven. Uh, these guys here are the clamps that hold the gear rack in place. So over here, pretty much everything you see here is part of the Z-axis. That's what lifts the uh, router up and down. Um, it's your back plate. This right here is the motor mount. And um, we're not going to need a motor mount for any of the other ones because the motors are going to mount onto this. The, the Z-axis is unique because we're going to be using a uh, screw-driven setup to uh, move that around where on this it's all going to be rack and pinion. So one motor mount only for the Z-rack bearing block. This is a coupler here. This is what's going to allow us to transfer power from the motor itself to the actual uh, screw. This guy rides up and down the screw. Um, it makes it so there's no backlash. Just a couple miscellaneous parts. Thrust washer bearings and whatnot. Another gear that, that attaches directly to the motor. Another piece of steel. Uh, the steel gets connected to this, connected to this, and the carriages allow it all to move up and down. You'll see that later on. Lots of extra bearings. I just went ahead and bought them just to have them on hand so if the other stuff wears down, I'll just replace them. I'm not going to have to sit around for it. This is 8020 aluminum. We made this. Uh, this particular size is a 1530. And uh, basically that means it's one and a half by three inches. And over here is the gear track. So that's what is going to allow the motors to run up and down. So I went ahead and assembled the Z axis just to test it all out. And those are all those pieces that you saw laying there kind of put together. And instead of hooking on the motor, the motor shaft uses a quarter inch shaft so I'll just put a quarter inch uh, bit in there and hooked up to a drill just to do a little test so I'll go ahead and show you how it all moves Hey guys, just wanted to show you these uh, drill bits that I have. They're cobalt impregnated and uh, they go through steel very well. If you guys are used to using those uh, twist bits like we use in woodworking, this is a whole different animal. So you'll see as the shavings come out of here, they're long strips, not just chunks.